in today's episode hi hello namaskar namaste assalam alaikum shukar to everyone welcome to another episode of rahul's aquatic vlogs so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and so let me start with the topic today actually you know what few days ago i got a call from one of my friend hobbyist and uh, he wanted me to transfer his stingray he was selling it off ko bech de raha hai uske stingray and uh, for your information jo stingray like he was selling that is galaxy stingray so how am i transferring the stingray to a packet like many of you jo log matlab stingray rakh rahe hain people are keeping stingray you might have problem in handling big stingray you know jo sting hota hai wo bahut khatarnak obviously hota hai and um, many of you are quite i guess scared even i am also scared like if it by chance hits me bus i'll not die obviously but still anyhow so how am i uh, using my equipments what equipments my net and the packet i try to avoid the net but in case your packet is not working with just the packet is not working you must use the net with a proper way so how did i do that i'll show you in today's episode so guys and for this tank this is the female flower horn and my zingu peacock bass if you haven't seen the last episode catch up with the last episode on the link given on the screen anyways let me take you to that day when i got the call and i went to his house to transfer the stingray hope you like this video i had to take out the ray very carefully because there was a 15 16 inch rtg over there as well as some chicklets guys can you find the stingray in the tank i hope you saw the stingray okay here it is it was a bit tough to take out the stingray because uh, there was a big rtg over there and the tank size was not that much big actually the tank size helped me but the rtg was uh, making me a bit uh, scaring me a bit because by chance if something had happened and it jumped out of the tank uh, it would have been a problem but one thing i want to mention is that rtg if you compare rtg with the silver arowana i would say like silver arowanas are very big jumpers rather than rtg anyways as you can see i'm trying to put this in the packet and uh, Um, I'm not pushing it much. I'm just letting it go in by itself. So you should try as much as possible not to stress out the ray over. Oh, but uh, I have to be very cautious, very cautious over there. And obviously, be careful of the sting. I hope you guys are not having like any problem like in the video. because uh, i know the camera angle is not at a good position i was not taking the video as i mentioned you before if you guys are wondering the size of the stingray let me tell you it's around uh, uh, 8 inches i would say in diameter or maybe 9 inches so the full size may be around 12 inches anyhow um, when i couldn't get the ray on the packet i had to use my net and as you can see the rtg was moving here and there and i had to be very careful so that it doesn't freak out the rtg i didn't push much i wanted the ray to get in and now you see the ray got in very <coughs> easily but i didn't rush the ray went out of the net again but i wanted it to go in to the net again so i was very patient and guys you need to be very patient at this process you can't rush into it if the string gets caught up in the net you will be have, having very big problem so anyways the ray went in and uh, the next step was a very big step this is how i transfer the ray from the net to the bag so one thing you have to be very careful is that when you are transferring it put the plastic bag inside the like uh, put the net inside the plastic bag Uh, to some extent as you will see like that and just try to point the ray towards the plastic bag like the face of the ray should be towards the plastic bag so you can easily slide it down through the net to the plastic bag as you can see i was just waiting for the ray to turn around 
as his tail was behind you shouldn't uh, put it like this uh, you should wait like i am waiting in the video and i was trying to the ray to move about so as it moved and i just slid it down and it went down into the plastic bag very smoothly it was a good transfer and guys you need to reduce the water inside the bag um guys i couldn't get much of that uh, footage of there so jitna video aaya i hope it will help you guys um as because i was handling the fish and there was no one to handle the camera so as much it was possible for me i have shown you in the video so i hope it has helped you i hope you like this uh, episode and one thing is that as you know like uh, i'm having issues with my phone so that is why i'm not able to make good videos but many surprises are left for you guys so stay tuned with rahul's aquatic vlogs and don't guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there and hit the bell icon in the screen so that you get instant notification when i upload a video and don't forget to follow follow me in facebook take care tata see you in my next episode bye bye More videos are coming ahead. Stay tuned with Rahul's aquatic vlogs.